from the tranquil Scottish hills and valleys where whisky draws its character to the factory floor where it's bottled, ready to be bought. Scotland's whisky industry is booming. In Speyside, the bulldozers and builders are hard at work as distilleries expand to cope with an ever-increasing demand. Sales have more than doubled in a decade, and last year they reached a record £4.3 billion. It started here when I was around about 20. Sandy has worked in the industry for 40 years. He's never seen it this busy. Vast investment has gone in, in the oil industry now. The, uh, people are building new distill houses, expanding, building new warehouses like the ones that we have put out here. By law, Scottish whisky must be distilled for at least three years and a day. At any one time, there are 20 million casks of whisky being matured across Scotland. Here at Tandu in Speyside, there are 14,500. That's 3.4 million litres of whisky waiting to be shipped off around the world. From Brazil to Russia, millions are choosing scotch as their drink of choice. More whisky is drunk in France in a month than cognac in a year. 95% of the bottles going through this plant will be exported. The Scotch whisky counts for a quarter of the UK's food and drinks exports. Um, and, and whisky really uh, in Scotland is, 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 is out in front. New markets are emerging in South America and Africa every year, but it's to the lucrative Asian market where much of this whisky will go. It's a good time to be in whisky production. The humble Scotch satisfying a global thirst. Debbie Edward, ITV News, Speyside.